All right, uh, Shalom, Shalom, Makion. We'd like to first off and foremost give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakhakodash, double honor to the elders and apostles of great milestone on the real world, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing the truth and sincerity and diligence. All right, uh, it's Blood Loya from the Great Millstone Lake Charles, Louisiana camp, coming back again with another brief lesson. And as always, you know, Lord, will it be edifying to the Lord's elect? And uh, through the Spirit, you know, just want to go into this topic of, uh, as you can see, it's entitled the, uh, the Victory. Or the great victory of the elect, all right. And this is the the faith and the patience of uh, of the saints, man. All right, Lord willing, you know we endure it to the end and be of that great number, okay. But this is ultimately an exhortation as well, you know. Uh, uh, reading this uh, uh, chapter, man. You know we go into these uh, uh, chapters. You know uh, uh, these things are ultimately revealed unto the Lord's elect, all right. Prophecy and things which uh, uh, we sh we shall look uh, forward to come, okay. This is what's, what keeps us going, man. Knowing that what uh, if we endure, we shall receive uh, uh, crowns, man. We shall be joint heirs, okay? As it speaks about in Romans the 8th chapter, uh, right? If we uh, then be joint heirs to the uh, Hamashiach, we must be partakers of the suffering. So as we suffer, you know, that takes what great patience. And ultimately, we're uh, uh, suffering for a moment to get that greater gain later. All right? So this is Revelation chapter 15 and verse 1. It says, And I saw another sign in heaven. Great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of the Most High. All right, and each uh each each seal ultimately, you know, was was a different uh thing that had to be ultimately unloosed. Okay, uh, verse two it says, and I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and over them that had gotten the victory of the beast, man. And it said glass. It's talking about the chariots, man. All right, that's what uh, uh, the men, all right, uh, of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah shall uh, uh, stand upon, man. All right, looking from the bottom of the chariots, looking and seeing, you know, America be destroyed, man, or uh, 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 flame and fire. All right, it says, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, over this system, it says, and over his image, all right, and over his mark, right? What the scripture say, real quick? Let me get it. Uh, I believe it's Revelation, the third chapter. This is Revelation chapter 3 and, uh, yep, verse 10. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth, man. See, so when they uh, push forth this uh, RFID, you know, which is the uh, Karagma, the great Karagma, right? When they push this, only the elect are going to be uh, able, you know, to overcome that situation. All right? These people are ultimately going to be... Uh, uh, in situations to where they're gonna fold that's why the scriptures say what uh the house of mourning you know it is better all right it's better to be in the house of mourning all right what the scripture says in uh matthew the fifth chapter blessed are those that mourn right the mourners are ultimately what signing and crying for the abominations that's being done in the midst so we're ultimately already being put you know in preparation of great restriction man all right being disciplined to where when those times come forth right when when we're faced with uh, uh not eating for x amount of time Right, or uh, uh, them trying to uh, force, you know, that karagma upon us, right? We won't take it, all right? That's why it says uh, in the book of Second Edges, these are those which stood so stiffly, right? Those that, sto that stood so stiffly for the Lord, okay? Because we understand in, in, in the times to come and in, in now, man, it's, it's only according to the power and the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah that we're delivered through these situations, okay? And that's when we ultimately was uh, meditate, you know, approaching that great uh, uh, time, okay? It says, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Most High, man. All right? Having his troop. Let me get that real quick. Well, I'll jump to the next chapter. Well, the previous chapter. This is Revelation chapter 14 and verse 2. It says, and I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, as a voice of great thunder. And I heard the voice of the harpers harping with their harps. And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne and before the four beasts, right? And the four beasts are all uh, those uh, angels, the archangels, okay? It says, and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. And once we were redeemed from the earth, right, we will be standing upon those chairs, man, looking at the destruction of this place, looking at all those that forsook Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, looking at the uh, the fallouts that went back into the world, into uh, the vomit, looking at uh, the heathen, right? Looking at the heathen, those that uh, 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 basically were set naught, okay, at all Yahweh by Shemiah Shah's counsel, all right? 
looking at the the, the I, I keep uh, uh, making emphasis on that you know the heathen man those that have trodden down the negroes latinos and natives you know for for a great period of time all right they're gonna be burning up uh, uh, uh within uh, uh america man by those uh missiles all right those icbm missiles okay verse three it says and they sing the song of moses the servant of the most high and the song of the lamb saying great and marvelous are thy works lord power almighty just and true are thy ways thou king of saints and that's your shah man all right it says who shall not fear thee o lord and glorify thy name all right for thou art holy for all nations shall come and worship before thee for thy judgments are made manifest you know and it's gonna be setting up it's setting stone uh, let me get it real quick This is uh, the book of Matthew. Uh, Salaki, Luke. Okay, this is uh, Luke chapter 19. And uh, verse 27, it says, But those mine enemies, right? Because the scriptures tell us that what, man? Uh, uh, Yahweh Shai basically lets it be known you know straight to the point you either with me or against me all right you're either going to be a part of the elect or you're going to be a, a, a part of the world you know it says which would not that i should reign over them bring them hither and slay them before me you see and when he heard the when he when he had thus spoken he went before ascending up to jerusalem you see so it's letting on, man. Yahweh Shah has enemies, man. It tells us that in the book of uh, uh, Nahum, the first chapter, you know? And all of the Lord's adversaries, they're all going to be together to, to ultimately go up against him, you know, when he makes their return, okay? But as for the elect, man, you know, Lord willing, we be, you know, uh, of that number, you know, fall into that lot. We must continue to push this truth and keep the faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all right? It's a beautiful thing knowing that, you know, uh, uh, what we're going to be found, you know, if we're of that number, we're going to be found favorable in the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh All right. This is verse five. It says, and after that, I looked and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was open and seven angels came out of the temple, having the seven plagues clothed with pure and white linen and having their breasts girded with golden girdles. And one of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden vials full of wrath of the Most High, who live it forever and ever. And the temple was filled with smoke and yeah, salaki. And the temple was filled with smoke and glory of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, and from his power. And no man was able to enter into the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. You see. Till it was fulfilled, man, and we're ultimately approaching those times to where, what, uh, uh, the last seal is is uh, uh, speaking of the missiles, man. All right, as it speaks about in uh, Zechariah the 14th chapter. All right, we're approaching these times, man. So knowing, right, like we always bring out the Second Peter's the third chapter, knowing, you know, that all of these things shall melt with fervent heat. All right, what, what, uh, 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 let me get it. I don't want to butcher it right now. Got stammering lips. <laughs> This is a uh, second Peter chapter three. It says, uh, yep. Verse 11, second Peter's three and 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness looking for and hasten unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth when dwell it righteousness, man. And that's why it tells us, you know, ultimately the elect. Let me grab it real quick. This is Revelation chapter 19, right? Let me see. Where is that? Yep. 19, 19 and 8. You know, the elect are going to be found what a uh, blameless and without spot. All right. So uh, knowing uh, what's to meet America real, real soon. All right. The man or person that we should be in, we should be pushing his truth. We should be what prophesying, all right? We should be constantly communicating with brothers, all right? Making sure that we're fulfilling our lots, man, all right? This is Revelation 19 and 8. It says, and to her, let me go up a little bit. 
verse 7. It says, let us be glad and rejoice, you see, and give honor unto him. For the marriage of the lamb is coming, and that's the elect being joined back with Yahweh Shai. All right. The marriage of the lamb is come. It says, and his wife, which is the elect, had made herself ready. All right. We're, we're uh, constantly being what? Uh, 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 in preparation mode. Okay. Keeping uh, uh, the high holy days, right? The law, statutes, and commandments. Okay. To the best of our ability. Making sure we're cleaning the inward man daily. All right. It says, and to her, which is the elect, was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints, right? For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints, okay? And he said unto me, right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, these are the true sayings of Yahweh Shimei You see? So by us having a testimony of uh, uh, prophecy, by us being called back into this thing, we must endure, all right? Because we know uh, according to prophecy that was given, all right, by way of the scriptures, by way of the apostles, all right, by way of the elders and things of that nature, we totally understand what's going on and what's to come, man, you know? And we're not just delivered just yet, okay? We're, we're, giving, uh, we're subject to giving that diligence, man, you know, to make our calling and election sure. Okay? So, hey, brothers, keep on fighting that good fight of faith. Lord willing, this was edifying to you, Akim. Uh, why, why, you know, that uh, tune in. Want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakan Kodash, double honor to the elders and apostles of great mills on the rule well, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopefully elect throughout the four winds, pushing his truth and sincerity and diligence. Till next time, Shalom.